Hey everyone, how you doing today? I thought I'd take another look at the workshop and see what was out there. And a lot of uh, very cool creations, kind of a uh, diverse set of creations again this week. So the very first one here is the uh, Europa Core 9 Multipurpose Carrier. And this is by Winslow, an author I'm unfamiliar with here. This looks like a very cool carrier. Like the... Uh, like the look of it, kind of a kind of a brownish tint with some uh, looks like some more grayish accent colors and things like that. Love the uh, the uh, blink lighting uh, display on the uh, front uh, landing uh, deck. That looks uh, that looks really cool. Uh, looks like we got a couple side hanger doors going on there as well. Looks like it would uh, definitely uh, fill the role of a carrier, like it uh, the name suggests there. Looks like we have uh, another landing pad on the back side of the ship here as well. Like these uh, pieces that are kind of sticking out there. Got some pretty good thrusters going on. And quite a lot of sentry guns here too. Now right before the video I did uh, get into the P menu and I uh, uh, there's an option to turn those sentry guns on and off. And I did turn them on just to see uh, all the guns displayed here. And we got our bridge section up over here. Looks like we got a... Uh, Looks like a plasma turret up top there. Detector right behind it. Yeah, very cool. Take a look at the bottom side here. I like the uh, the number on the side there with that tank piece there. The one on this side here too. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Nice uh, added uh, detail. We got some uh, texture lights going on in uh, at least over here. Yeah, both sides on that section there. That's kind of cool. It kind of breaks things up. And on the bottom side here, it looks like we've got a pretty massive amount of solar panels on here. I don't know how, exactly how many are there, but i got to assume this is maxing out like the uh, the solar panels. I've seen some smaller ones and some larger ones in the mix here, so that may come out uh, to the uh, 48 solar panels allowed on uh, CVs and reports Eden. Which is really cool. That'll help uh, help the ship uh, use less power as well as you're uh, using it or parking it. Um, I also noticed in the P menu options it did have a uh, power saving mode as well. So I imagine that would turn off the thrusters and non-essential stuff. And then it looks like the ship could easily operate off from the uh, the solar panels it does have on it. Yeah, really cool. Really cool. Nice big old front landing deck there too. A lot of room to park stuff, at least on the outside. So let's take a look at the inside of the ship here. So let me uh, adjust the lighting a little bit here. Try to find something happy medium so you can see and get still get some accents from the lights. Maybe that's a little on the dark side. Let me uh, raise it up a little bit more here. And I typically do this too because lighting can really... Uh, Lighting can really look neat on the uh, in the right places on the right ships, and but it's hard to get the uh, the right atmosphere on uh, planet side to uh, accent that. Um, so as we come into the hangar here, it looks like we've got kind of a production hangar. So I'm seeing some various storage controllers, plus uh, uh, looks like we got an advanced constructor in both corners over there. We've got uh, some utility function here, our O2 and uh, med station. Uh, another storage controller deconstructor over here. It's like a place for another constructor or deconstructor on this side. More storage controllers. Same thing going on on the other side. And a couple uh, small uh, constructors as well. So quite a few storage controllers and uh, yeah, basically a lot of uh, production in this area. Which is uh, very convenient. Fly right in and get busy. So... Definitely like that. So let's go out this way here. Make sure there's no elevator. Sometimes I miss an elevator. You open up a door and there's an elevator directly through there, but uh, not in that case. So didn't miss any elevators. So it looks like we're getting back into this uh, fancy hallway area here with carpeted. Got a lot of security around that door over there. I'll uh, skip that for now. Let's uh, head down this way, go into engineering here. Oh, check this out. So the hallway kind of wraps around again. Now we got an elevator going upward. And what is back over here? Oh, it looks like we got a shield room. So we got our main shield, and it looks like five uh, small shield parts plus a pentaxid tank. And obviously, see the warp core right in the, the glass on the next room there. And this must be, oh, yeah, warp drive access over there. 
case you want to upgrade the uh, the uh, warp drive that would make it uh, very convenient to do so nice touch there and on the other side here looks like we got our CPU room so it looks like all our core 9 uh, CPU blocks in this area got some NPCs uh, around the ship monitoring things very cool and then let's see this wraps around back over to this area and let's check out what's going on here ah ah yeah restricted area here it looks like we got a lot of security going on in this section whatever's going on behind this door um better have clearance ah look at that we've got a i'm not sure what this is it looks like it's uh kind of meant to hold a part in there but we got our warp drive and our shield already in place um I don't know. That's it's kind of neat, though. It's uh, you see like this, uh, I don't know, this uh, plasma ball or something in there. Could be uh, some kind of uh, some kind of unknown drive engine. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we definitely uh, will stay out of there. We got some big generators right behind the uh, the glass in this area here too. I like that uh, that light going on there with the uh, trip in the sensors with the the gun coming down there. Let's go around back over here and up that elevator. And let's see, get off to this first floor here. So that's kind of cool. Got us. Looks like we got some more utility function, fridges, armor locker, armor repair, O2, food processor. We got a chemical lab over on this side. Ah, cool. So I Got to mix, uh, mix some chemicals. Looks like we got a mixing tank over there and some uh, person uh, doing his job. Trying to figure out uh, how to mix uh, one thing with another. And we got our sick bay over here. I like that. Nice facing on that. So we got all our uh, specialized medical equipment, it looks like, in this general area. We had some other utility function right outside of here as well. And, uh, yeah, we got our shower, toilet, and yeah, all the all the stuff you'd want in a medical bay there. Clone chamber over on the side. Well, we do have O2 out over here. And then oh over here, look at that. So it looks like we have uh, locations for uh, some grow plots in here. Looks like uh, the other side the same. Yeah, it looks like uh, I think that would count out to 36 grow plots that you could add in at your leisure. The grow lights are already installed there. And then uh, we're coming up to the bunks up front here. Oh, this is cool. So this is right off from the uh, the front flight deck. And it looks like we've got uh, like a crew area. We've got several bunk beds. And then a full like crew bathroom over here. Ah, very cool. Let's, uh, let's see. we got a door coming off the back here. And that goes out to the, uh, the back uh, landing deck. Again, kind of protected by sensory guns. And then it looks like right up to the bridge here. We got our pilot seat, uh, miscellaneous equipment around here. Oh, so we got some side access doors. Quick in and out of the bridge from outside in space. And another great idea there. And speaking of that, our main core is directly behind the, uh, the pilot seat, which is kind of convenient too, in case uh, something really goes bad and uh, you end up getting killed fly flying your ship around it uh, hopefully will blow up the core along with the pilot and then the AI will leave your ship alone so you can get back to it and fix it up and and not uh, have them uh, continue to uh, continually try to uh, destroy it um, which is uh, really cool it can save a ship for sure so yeah very cool because so I can get to everywhere on the ship pretty simple uh, easy to uh, navigate section a lot of uh, a lot of docking space again it's a carrier though so um, yeah but you could uh, certainly park a lot of uh, a lot of HVs SVs uh, maybe uh, some some smaller CVs up on this uh, creation here plus it's uh, a lot of solar panels um, so it's gonna be uh, probably fairly cheap to uh, operate in game Looks like we've got some thrusters kind of behind some of these uh, locations over here too interesting Kind of uh, where those are like the thruster vents. 
Uh, anyway, let's take a look at some numbers here. So, unlock level 25, size class 6, uh, 117 forward, 38 strafing, 51 lift, uh, 51 reverse, 76 down. Got 14 fuel tanks, uh, 8 oxygen tanks. <clears throat> Excuse me. 17 hour and 12 minute build time. Is going to require some estrium and zacosium. Um, not, well, you know. Not a whole lot. Uh, probably a lot of that has to do with the shields and stuff like that. It did have additional shields in here as well. So uh, your stock shield at least is uh, 14,450. Not too bad. We've got here's our uh, P menu options for uh, landing uh, sensory guns and a power save option. CPU wise, it's a uh, Core 9 build, 2.1 million CPU. It's uh, only using uh, 1.7 million of that. So not too bad. You could add uh, quite a bit more parts to it. Uh, stock, actually. Let's take a look at your storage here. So we got an ammo controller at 248k. It looks like uh, one, two. Just making sure these are 320s. So it looks like four 320k standard controllers, and then we've got two 320k. Is that it? Yep. Harvest controllers in there as well. So yeah, quite a bit of storage. So basically, um, yeah, five, uh, six 320s plus uh, another 248 for ammo. Not bad at all. So yeah, very cool carrier. Looks like it would uh, fit the bill and uh, get the job done, move all your uh, creations around. Looks like the author also uh, put in places to add additional weaponry, at least on the front side over here, a couple more turrets, and it looks like a couple uh, potential launcher positions on either side as well. And then, uh, yeah, then we've got our front hangar door coming in there as well. So, again, very, very cool. This is the uh, Europa Core 9 Multipurpose Carrier Reforged Eden by Winslow. So, the next creation here, we're going to have to go visit some Mandalorian here. This is the uh, Gunship Razor Crest by author Silvercrest. So, this is an author I'm unfamiliar with as well. And this is a uh, SV, and it certainly... Uh, that's a cool looking shape. I love the. Uh, I like this ship in the show as well. But this this looks really nice. I like the uh, the setup here. That uh, tall cockpit area. The uh, all the proportions look uh, pretty much right on the money with with everything here. We've got uh, yeah, I like the uh, the thruster designs going on there. Oh, well, there's a uh, interesting. Seeing some kind of part there. I don't know. Maybe that's just part of the thruster there. I gotta assume that would be, or maybe that's a, is that a block right there in front of the thruster? Is that what's going on? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta see. Is that a, is that a block here? If it is a block. Yeah, it is a block. Okay, so that's like a half, uh, half cone block there. Interesting. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like how that's, uh, kind of disguising the, the, the thruster a little bit there. You can obviously see the thruster back there, but neat idea. We got some strafing thrust and and down thrust in this area over here, and our forward thrusters. Probably ought to get the lighting on a little bit better here, eh? Uh, yeah, interesting with the uh, the texturing too. It almost kind of looks. I was looking at the uh, multiple different textures in this area, and it kind of looks like it it had some damage and got some. Uh, patch repairs which is very fitting for the uh, uh sh this ship especially the, this ship because uh, it was the same thing going on in the show it was getting uh hurt and damaged uh, a few times had uh quite a few repairs done to it and it kind of looks like yeah the same thing's going on here so we got uh different uh different repairs and stuff happening really cool so it looks like we have entry points on the back and both sides on here Going across the side, uh, the top here. I kind of like this uh, subtle detail into the, uh, the top of the uh, the ship. It's pretty cool. It's got some uh, obviously like a thin block layer, but some deco parts in there just to give it that surface detail, which I think is really important on uh, especially something like this. It's a relatively flat area, and you kind of want to do stuff with it to uh, add a little bit of spunk into it. And it looks like the author did do that. So that that looks that looks cool. All right, well, anyway, let's get inside the ship here. I guess I'm going to try to come through the uh, the back door. Let me, uh, let me adjust the lighting here as well. Get it kind of yeah, 
something like that. So inside here, oh, interesting. Got some uh, miscellaneous uh, decor decoration things here. This is pretty cool looking uh, setup here. Like it almost kind of looks like some uh, hanging boxes or something like that. I'm looking at like uh, the inside of the walls actually going down this whole area here. It kind of looks like kind of a uh, fuselage inside a or like framework inside a. Uh, a, uh, like a military plane or cargo plane or something like that. that, that, that that's a pretty cool look. This is actually a track that goes through there, isn't it? So this, uh, whatever's going on here would actually kind of, looks like it's supposed to move down that track. Yeah, nice, nice touch there. We got our side doors. Uh, we have a couple switches here too. We've got this one here. I gotta assume this is for the, uh, the back door. Yeah. That's cool. So it's kind of a dual opening uh, ramp set up there, airtight. And then we've got a uh, oh, there's a door on the bottom here too. Is that what this is for? Oh yeah. So it looks like we got a uh, ground access coming in here as well, or at least a place to drop off, or maybe a fly out a drone, or or yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting. We got our two side doors over here. I'm kind of wondering if there's a switch for those. Are they sensor based? Oh, well, when they open the top one, it opens up the bottom one. Interesting. It's kind of cool. More of a manual setup. At least so. And in here, it looks like we got our uh, utility function here. So we got a food processor, a couple fridges, a constructor, armor locker, cargo box, O2 uh, trauma station, uh, and a cargo uh, or a controller, and uh, kind of like a little storage spot over here. And then uh, over here, it looks like you can uh, pop up to, oh, wow, interesting, this part of the ship. Oh, look at this little, like, walkthrough going on over here, and it gets you inside the ship, and you can kind of see where the, uh, some of the parts are up here. Oh, it's got long-range radar, we got our warp drive over there, some generators in this area, oh, quite a few small shield parts, RCS, uh, all kinds of stuff going on in this, uh, part of the ship here and it's got uh, interesting access to it here so I wonder uh, I don't know if you can crawl through that or not probably not I don't think you're meant to really go up there it's just kind of flying through the hall here and then up here we got our bridge oh, that looks cool I like the uh, I like how this is looking with the side windows and this uh, the rounded glass work kind of the uh, this console area around here we got two passenger seats in here as well. And our main pilot seat. I guess that makes sense. That uh, kind of fits with the uh, the show as well. You can just uh, picture Baby Yoda back sitting there uh, throwing some, uh, doing some mischief. <laughs> a very cool ship here. It's all in an SV too. Our main core is right up there. Got a fuel tank. Yeah, pretty. I like it. I like cool, uh, cool block and shape work there. I like how the interior was done too. Kind of, uh, you know, kind of run down-ish on purpose, but kind of authentic looking. Very, very cool. So stat-wise, what are we looking at here? Are we uh, it's a size class two, obviously small vessel. Uh, 92 forward, 31 strafing, 47 lift, 65 reverse, 40 down. Five hour and 49 minute build time. Uh, it does use a little bit of estrium and zacosium. Not too much. Does have long-range radar and a detector. Two plasma cannons. Stock. Seven fuel tanks. Six oxygen tanks. CPU-wise, it's pretty close to the uh, 60,000 Reforged Eden. Now, in the uh, on the description, this may very well be for vanilla as well. But it looks like it plays pretty nicely with Reforged Eden regardless. I believe uh, the CPU on vanilla would probably uh, balance out where it wasn't over. Um, but... Um, I am kind of looking at this and, and Reforge Eden anyway, so it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all on that. Um, let's take a look at your storage here. So we got an ammo controller at 500 and a storage box. And that's about it. It doesn't look like it's really doing too much more. You got uh, you do have ammo uh, controller in, in the... Uh, it doesn't have a lot of guns on it or anything like that. So you can probably hold enough ammo to uh, to use your, your weaponry here and fly around. 
Um, but yeah, quite a bit of room too. If you did get the ship and wanted to add uh, some stuff in it, looks like there is room on the interior where you could um, either put stuff on the floor or or whatnot. Um, if you wanted to soup it up a little bit here, let me just uh, take a look at its shield here while I'm at it. So the shield, uh, 3470. Uh, did have some extra shield parts in there. Obviously some RCS as well, which are probably going to help with um, some of the, the pitch yaw and roll on the craft, which are all very good as well. So it's quite maneuverable. This is report to Eden where things are tend to be a little slower. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, pretty uh, pretty quick ship there. Has your uh, basic utility function, uh, combat, all that fun stuff. And I, I think the author purposely... Uh, hid some thrusters inside of here which i don't blame them because you i mean obviously the actual ship itself would only have these visible thrusters here and it's not going to have like uh the lift thrusters or the strafe thrusters or the reverse thrusters and all that kind of stuff so i believe that's why they're hidden in the first place it would be kind of off-putting to see them especially when it's uh trying to model a ship after the uh show um Anyway, again, very cool ship. This is the Gunship Razor Crest by Author Silvercrest. Very cool, very cool ship. So the next one here is a, uh, a big old space station. This is the Cypress Fleet Base by another new author to me, a Curious Mind. So yeah, a lot of uh, it's kind of cool seeing some uh, some uh, people I'm uh, fairly unfamiliar with in the uh, the building community uh, come in with all these really really cool creations here. This looks like a pretty meaty space station, I gotta say. I don't have it in space, but I um, don't oh, look at that. So we got kind of like a entry door over there. I like this uh, outer ring. A little different coloring scheme here too. Kind of that uh, more of a lighter blue, white, and then we've got some uh, some darker gray accents and some uh, some texture lights as well. Uh, looks like we're going to have a big hangar around that uh, center floor there. we got some solar embedded on the sides here as well. Quite a few, uh, some defense uh, guns here. Looks like, uh, I can tell, probably some mini guns there. Some extra locations to add more of them. And yeah, keep it protected from the drones. Looks like uh, 360 coverage all the way around on the, uh, on the defense of it. And uh, quite a few solar panels. Uh, they're kind of uh, kind of all over the place. Uh, so, uh, you got some on the on the bottom there, and then there's some over here on the sides. And it looks like all the sides actually have some solar panels. So I think because this is a base, the and it's a space station, you, so you'd probably, you know, spawn it in front of a star. So I don't think all the solar panels, I mean, it doesn't really matter which way you spawn it. It looks like there's solar panels in all directions to, uh, to capture the sunlight, but they're not really focused on one direction. Um, so, like, if you were, if you, if you had a spawn and this, this side was facing a star, you'd obviously get sun from the bottom solar panels, these up here and these over here, but the ones on the sides or in the back things like that I don't believe would get much in sunlight there um, but yeah again it's a uh, pretty nice so in one way because you don't really have to care exactly which way you spawn this in front of a, uh, a star either it's it's gonna pick up some solar any way you go about it look at this uh, interesting piece over here it's kind of interesting yeah it's like some little uh, walkways or something going on through here and it's uh, interesting like almost like that's some kind of like uh, elevator that operates at an angle, which would be that would be a really cool feature for the game. And you can kind of see that going in all four directions there. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the top up here a second, and it looks like we've got a big old landing pad. A lot of ways up to the landing pad. I like these embedded uh, staircases going down in there. Looks pretty cool. We got the center section here, which is uh, oh, this is a uh, CV repair right here. So you get your CV kind of lined it up above that position. Looks like the author uh, purposely gave the uh, enough room for a player to come out here and operate this without interfering with the uh, the repair of the CV by getting in its uh, or near its collision box or anything like that. 
Very cool. All right. Well, anyway, let me adjust the lighting and we'll go uh, tour this here. Something like that there. So, yeah, right as you walk in, it looks like you've got quite a lot of uh, landing area here. Some four distinguished landing pads, but you can obviously park anything anywhere you want. Uh, a lot of... Uh, a lot of storage controllers and production stuff around the area here. So we've got, uh, in this corner at least, we've got our armor, locker, repair, O2, and med station. Uh, oh, I like the, uh, like the uh, LCD graphics here too. So we're in the main hangar right now. Very nicely done. I like the, uh, the design graphics around there too. So we've got a whole bunch of uh, cargo controllers over here. And they got their uh, storage listed right on there. Very cool. So those would all be 320s. And we got an ammo right there. And a whole bunch more 320s. We'll have to take a look at its total storage later. Over here looks like we have another uh, set of uh, armor locker, armor repair, O2 and med station. And looks like, yeah, more of that on this side as well. And a whole lot more storage controllers, secondary ammo controller. And yeah, a lot of places to repair your armor and uh, get some oxygen in here. And we got elevators that are uh, kind of going up in a lot of different uh, places here. Let's take uh, let's take the center one up. Oh, look at that! We got O2 kind of behind there as well. Yeah, you're definitely not far away from uh, O2 or uh, fixing up your armor down there. A whole lot of storage boxes up here. That looks really cool, kind of embedded in into the wall. And you can tell by the texturing on the other stuff next to it, too. Those are actually uh, cargo uh, uh, extensions. So a lot of storage in that general area here. And, uh, yeah, like this. So we've got some top landing pads that we're kind of walking across. Like this angled section here. So we kind of went up to the... Uh, we're still in the main hangar area, too. Wow. Oh, it is, it is all part of the same room. Like the uh, the pathing walking around here, again a bunch more uh, top landing pads. So yeah, just a lot of places to park uh, HVs, SVs, uh, any CVs that will fit. I guess uh, let's check out. Uh, so we're on five. I guess we're going to go up from here. We'll have to come back in and come down again too. Holy smokes! Look at this floor. This, so this is directly above the hangar. So we got like a. Uh, Maybe some sales places, like you'd have uh, uh, shop vendors in here. I would, I would guess, almost like a, like your shopping, uh, shopping district. <laughs> Criminal spans, wanted for questioning. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, good old criminal spans. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Blowing up the uh, the Xerox. Criminal like. Um, yeah, so uh, we got, again, more places to repair your armor and stuff. It looks like over in this general area, we got our, our medical bay. I like how that's kind of like its own little, uh, shop building over here. Looks like we have our, all our specialized medical equipment here and, uh, everything you would need. Toilet, shower as well. Nice looking LCD above that as well. And we've got some doors that I think these would go out to these, uh, oh, the outer ring. And, uh, yeah, some of these, like this uh, terminal there to, to get in and out of the station from the upper level. Definitely, you're not ever going to be too far away from getting uh, oxygen, fixing your armor, or breathing. Uh, so that is, that is kind of cool. They are all over the place. I like that center uh, section inside of this area here too. Yeah, the shopping area is really cool. I like that. So many uh, different different things going on here. Kind of a layout. Oh, a teleporter right over here too. Nicely set up on a sensor. Yeah, kind of like the uh, the elevator LCDs as well here. Let's go up one more floor here. And, oh, we're getting to our farming district here. Holy smokes, this looks like it's got a lot of potential for uh, grow plots. A lot of them, actually. 
at least on this side. So I don't even want to speculate on how many grow pot locations are here, uh, but quite a lot. I would say over, well over 100 on this side, and it kind of looks like we're going to be matching on the other side as well. Oh, oh, check that out. Oh, that's cool. Ah, it's too bad for that force field that draws in there because I kind of knew what was going to happen before I got to it. Um, well, that, that, yeah, that's, that's a cool way to uh, make like a connection there to this, uh, it looks like control, uh, control tower room here. Oh, look at that. Big old 3D holographic display. That's cool. Admiral Gerald. Taking a look at his uh, his fancy map over there. Yeah, this is cool. I like the uh, the, the uh, 360 view and how this is kind of hanging down from the uh, the center of the middle of the uh, the station there. Wow. Yeah. So a huge amount of grow plots. Uh, again, I don't know the total number, but I think I'd have to look at the uh, blueprint description. Maybe it's listed in there, but a lot lot of grow plots um at this point i would say i i wouldn't doubt it's bordering high two 200s to uh low 300s in uh, uh grow plots and right up here this goes right to the uh, top landing pad one of many uh locations to get there all right so let's uh Let's go down. So we're down back to the main hangar. Let's go below there. Wow, this is this is a big big station. So we've got this uh, floor over here. Looks like we got some storage controllers all around here. I like the hallways. We got the Admiral uh, Gerald's uh, quarters. Uh, absolutely no spanges allowed. <laughs> Cute. I got our, uh, oh, look at that. This is our uh, fancy bedroom here. Oh, I like the uh, little, uh, like, end cabinets over here by the bed. That looks that looks pretty slick there. Place to sit and chill. Our television. Oh, we even got stuff on TV here. The Survivors of the Canterbury. Oh, and now we're getting into Expanse over here. What is going on with that? Maybe that's uh, what, what the whole thing is about. Maybe I'm just, uh, I didn't figure that out. I'm familiar with what the Canterbury is. Crew areas over here. Big old bunk bed section. Like the uh, track lighting kind of going along the ceiling there. And oh, look at this. We got it like a training room over here. That's a pretty wild looking uh, display. Oh, that's neat. It's all like round, and the LCDs match the uh, the block work, and like one army fighting another army with all their uh, army icons for the different kinds of troops and stuff. A couple of instructors sit up there. Our mission planner. I won't even say like uh, yeah, more of a mission planning thing here. Not really a training room. Storage controller there. Let me uh, make sure I didn't miss anything up here. A lot of places to uh, check out on this uh, station, though. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go up uh, another or down another floor. I'm sorry. So now we're to manufacturing. Oh wow! Big time production area here. Holy smokes. Yeah, we've got a lot of controllers. Looks like they're all nicely labeled, too. I like that. So you kind of know how much storage is in each one of these. And the different colors as well. A cool looking uh, storage uh, LCDs there. I have not seen that before. I don't know if the uh, the author made it or it's part of a, a set. Um, I think the author probably made it, though. Uh, again, all the LCDs I'm seeing in here, I've never seen anywhere else. So... Yeah, that's cool. Nice looking LCDs and just a huge amount of production here. Look at that barrage of small constructors in the center. And then you've got some uh, 
some some advanced constructors around the edges there and just a huge amount of storage deconstructors over here yeah so it definitely uh fulfills what it said on the elevator sign this is a uh, pretty hardcore uh manufacturing area very cool so we're on three now so there's a couple of floors below here but the elevator doesn't take us there so let's see what's in some of the sides here oh this is one of those ways in and out that we see, kind of seen from the outside of the uh, the base and that goes right as, right across the center so i'd be in the center of the station right here just trying to figure out how do you get down to the other the other floors it's got to be located in the center area i'm thinking I don't not. I don't know. That doesn't... Yeah, core room and engineering. The two rooms I'm not seeing there. But due to the... Uh, yeah, we've got stuff below there. How do you get there? Is it, is there it's probably an elevator I'm missing. Probably right in front of my face. Just don't know where it is there. Well, here, let's uh, let's reverse uh, psychology this. Let's go down here and then figure out a way up. So, we are in uh, the, the engineering. We got a core room over here. Oh, that's cool. I like the uh, the LCDs going on there as well. This is a pretty tall floor, too. Look at that. Got uh, CPU blocks inside these uh, big, like, glass canisters. And, uh, yeah, places to put more uh, CPU cores, auxiliaries, or whatnot. Or I'm not sure how many it's using right now. We got some cores in that one. We got our main CPU core there. You can see some other CPU blocks. Looks like another uh, one for additional upgrades. And here's that elevator that I was missing before. Where does that come out at? Oh, I did miss it. So, oh, it was kind of in the middle. There's four of them. Yeah, they were right in front of my face. Totally missed it. All around the uh, all around the the uh, small constructors figures. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. I like the uh, the lighting and uh, the looks of this. This is uh, it's just different. I didn't didn't know what to expect on these floors here. That's cool. So you got a lot of room for uh, upgrade cores and parts and things like that. We got one more floor going down here. And this is getting into the hardcore engineering. And yeah, we got our main shield. Looks like uh, generator uh, slots over here inside of the uh, glass as well. Some uh, utility function. Yeah, engineering core room was up. Manufacturing repair platform was the top. The promenade, that's where all the, uh, the shops or like the med bay and stuff like that was. Got some solar capacitors down here. And our generators and our main shield. Yeah, very cool. Very cool station. So, yeah, pretty easy to navigate if you uh, don't walk by four elevators that come down to this area <laughs> and not, not see them. Yeah. Uh, look at all the... Uh, look, it's a big station. I'm kind of curious on that size class. Well, it looks like we got this... Uh, area between the hangar floor and the room below here too that just a whole lot of extra room looks like you could put in some uh, a lot of stuff if you really wanted to in here oh those are actually some thin blocks aren't they oh that's weird oh I think I know what's going on here it's not like necessarily like a whole different block row it's part of this I don't know okay so these are yeah just full block locations in here yeah, really cool. Really cool looking station. A lot of room. A lot of room. A lot of production stock in here. Plus a huge amount of farming potential. CV repair. Uh, pretty much all the functions you want a station for. Let's look at some numbers here. So we are unlock level 20. Size class 21. Uh, 30 uh, fuel tanks. 24 oxygen tanks. CPU wise, it's... Uh, yeah, it's right up in there, I believe, uh, with bases. Is this a Core 9 build? I'm thinking it might be. Uh, it uh, fits right in that, that realm there. Looks like the author uh, used uh, all the CPU, uh, or most most all the CPU that they could. 
uh, with a lot of constructors and production and things like that. Um, let's take a look at your storage. Quite a bit of storage in this. And we've got, uh, yeah, there's a lot of controllers in there. So blocks and devices and fuel and O2 and main and trade goods. Uh, a lot of these are pretty big. It's, I don't exactly know how much the total storage on this would be. Uh, we got a lot of boxes in the mix as well. And then a lot of main controllers. And a lot of the, uh, quite a bit of these were, oh, not there. We got ammo, 128. Yeah, I'm not going to get a very good number on exactly how much storage is in here. But let's just say a lot, a lot of storage. I don't think you'll run out of places to put things at all for quite a long time. We're looking at all these, look at all these controllers in here. So uh, over in this section, there's 22 of these, and looks like they're fluctuating a little bit on the size versus each controller. Some are 320, some are a little bigger, some are a little smaller. I guess it depended what fit in uh, general areas of the station, and look at all that. Yeah, and a huge amount of boxes as well. So yeah, again, very cool. This is the, uh, the Cypress Fleet Base by Curious Mind. Very, very cool. I like the uh, the station there. Uh, neat, neat looking space station. And of course, it does have uh, defenses as well. Um, uh, against drone plus solar. All right, so the next creation here, this is by uh, the author that hardly ever sleeps. Uh, this is by Ent, and this is a SV miner. This is called the Worm for Reforged Eden. And uh, holy smokes. Look at that son of a gun. That is a unique looking miner. I got to say it's very, very wide. Which is kind of like, kind of goes against most of the miners that I've seen. But this is, uh, be more for, I don't know, look at that. It's got like these 10 mining drills and they're spaced out pretty far. But it looks like it would hit a big area at once when it was mining. Very nice looking. Again, that, uh. Yeah, that yellow and black kind of industrial look here. Uh, various grays and rust and things mixed in there. A lot of texturing work done. A lot of, uh, again, uh, end build, a lot of attention to detail. Like every place you could add detail, there is going to be detail because it's end and end does detail. <laughs> Very, this is cool. This is, wow. I have not seen a miner in this layout setup. This is just really different. I like that. I love that cockpit in there too. That looks really cool with the uh, the uh, the glass work going on in here. Using all the old school glass, but in a formation I've never really seen before. That looks so cool. It kind of wedges out and then kind of wedges down at a bit of like a diamond edge pattern on the sides, and then it's different in the middle, more indented. Oh, did I say this was an SV? I did say this was an SV. I'm wrong. It looks like an SV. I thought it was an SV until I seen all these hover engines on here. So this is an HV. Holy smokes. Really? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I don't know how this works. I uh, literally, every time I try to build an HV and have um, mining drills, even like not right to the very edges now that's pretty close to the very edges isn't it um i wonder if uh i wonder if the spacing or something changed on how these would drill out because it looks like they, they're all spaced out at a at, in a particular range like every one of these would just kind of hit that one area at once it looks like it would manage to do a huge area at once but i don't think you're going to be flying into tunnels with it um but i could be wrong i don't know that's just, that's an interesting layout. I, I almost want to, like, try this out in game and see how this performs. I've never uh, really thought of doing an HV in this setup before. Like, super wide, but 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 not very deep. And uh, with a big barrage of mining drills off the front um, covering that whole area. Uh, that's, that's, that's wild. Got some, uh, some good defenses in there, too. Again, I love all the detail. Uh, it just looks really cool. What a what a cool looking uh, cockpit area there in the center. Also got some spotlights going on. Quite a bit of uh, like 
protection from probably the uh, pesky drones when you're out mining. And uh, yeah, but it's an HV. Oh, man, I I could have swore I I didn't even look. I just assumed it was an SV. So that really threw me for a loop when it's uh, discovered it's an HV. Wow, a lot of a lot of forward thrust going on here too. Big old group of uh, four pack of the uh, pretty good size thrusters. They're not the biggest. Uh, well, actually, they are the biggest. Uh, yeah, this is an SV again. That keeps on screwing me up. Yeah, those would be the uh, the big RE uh, HV thrusters on there. Wow. Yeah, again, really, really sharp. Love all the detail work and the the rust and the framework and the multicolor and the just yeah everywhere you look, just detailed as as can be. Anyway, let's uh, here. Let me adjust the lights and I will get inside here. We got a generators, looks like a shield. A taxi tank, more generators on that side. A couple, uh, looks like a little bit of room down below where you could put something in that area and right over here. Got an armor locker, storage controller. I like this elevated uh, cockpit area. Again, the core right below it in case the uh, the uh, pilot gets popped. Um, It'll take out the uh, the core, and then the AI would probably leave you alone, and then you could uh, fix your ship up uh, after the fact, which is kind of nice. Save the losses in case anything goes really wrong. Yeah, this is really wild. Look at all this uh, the LCD work and stuff. I didn't, um, yeah, all these uh, these deco LCDs and stuff inside of here. Cool looking uh, LCD in front of the uh, the cockpit area there too. I like that. Nice, uh, again, really very nice LCD work. Storage controllers in there. And, uh, yeah, O2, yeah, your general utility function that you'd want on something like this. Just, yeah, wild. Just really wide body design on this one. That's cool. Let's take a look at some numbers here. So, uh, unlock level 20, uh, size class 2. 207 forward. Wow, that's got a lot of forward power there. Uh, 52 strafing, uh, 103 reverse. And yeah, there's no up and down. It's HV. 15 fuel tanks, 4 oxygen tanks. 4 hour and 16 minute build time. It's going to require a little bit of estrium and zacosium. Uh, we got 10 laser drills, 4 minigun turrets, and a detector installed on here. Uh, CPU wise, uh, yeah, it's uh, below Core 9, so Core 9 would be 60,000 CPU, we're, so we're probably uh, four advanced cores instead of five, I'm, I'm guessing, so a Core 8, if I were just to guess, uh, and it's not using all that number, all that. Take a look at your storage here, so we got an ammo controller at 711, uh, I got a, a container controller at uh, 23k, more than that, and a second one at another... 23k so we're yeah for so we're about 48k and that plus another 32k in harvest yeah it can hold a lot of stuff a lot of stuff had a lot of hover engines on the on the bottom side too so i wouldn't doubt it can get around pretty good and with all that forward thrust um yeah i think it's really meant to be able to move the cargo um, that it can hold, which is quite a lot, especially for uh, an HV. Um, yeah, really wild design there. Never seen anything quite like it. I'm curious on how, how, how well it works in game. I really am. I can't really test it here. I'm in creative, and I don't even think there's any ore nodes around. But anyway, yeah, really, really cool uh, design here. Again, this is the Worm Reforged Eden by Ent. So the next grace in here, this is by Artemis Rogue, and this is the Temptist. And uh, CV, it looks like it, uh, I would definitely say it is a combat-oriented CV. And uh, that's really sharp looking. It's uh, unusual, very unusual. It's, it's running a lot of uh, round, like, like canisters, and you notice that there's like some 
some LCDs of different color inside those canisters to kind of match the block work of them. You can see some canisters over there and like one over here and another one over here uh, on either side and uh, right off the front too. Oh, that's that's really weird. Uh, weird in a cool way. I, I haven't, again, seen anything that looks quite like this. And a lot of these have LCDs over the top of these deco parts too. You can kind of see that that uh, formation going on there. And needless to say, a whole lot of weaponry. Um, sentry guns, bigger turrets, random turrets, uh, launchers, uh, more, more guns, more weapons. That's just wild. What a what an unusual looking hall on it. It looks really cool though. I love the uh, the colors, how they uh, everything's kind of blended together. It looks looks sharp and fancy. Um, yeah, look at that. The whole design is kind of based around these uh, these cylinders. Uh, even up even back over here, kind of more deco pieces on the on the sides there, and cylinders off the front and the back and the sides. Look at them all on the back side here, too. Holy smokes. I got a long-range radar right on the back. Wow, oh, this is unusual. This is, uh, it's cool. It looks really nice. Uh, like a cylinder ship. Just different design elements going on here. A lot of detail going on in there. And you can see some deco parts beyond the LCDs that are in there, too. It's, uh, just some other things to kind of fit in there. Just a really unusual looking ship. Yeah, I like it. Very nice. Sharp. I'm not seeing like like everything's uh, well well groomed. Everything's very fancy, very detailed. Yeah, very cool. Let's see what's going on, on the bottom side. So we got some more sensory guns. Another big turret. And, uh, yeah, some, uh, texture lights there as well. Yeah, wild design, really wild design. All right, well, let's find a way inside. And that, I'm not sure if I figured that one out yet or not. I probably missed it. Let's uh, take a look at the bottom side, see if there's a ramp that comes down somewhere. You know, we got a place for, uh, it's like radar, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, right on the back here. Ah, right on the back. So, we'll get up through there. Adjust the lighting here real quick. So, yeah, it looks like uh, as soon as you walk in, you got a couple uh, small constructors here. Right off on the side of the ramp. Looks like an elevator goes up, and then we got another room out front here. Just happen there. Oh, we got a blast door. Okay, so there's probably some some options there for the blast door. So inside here, looks like we got a big room for uh, parts here. So we've got uh, some small shield parts up in the sides there. Uh, medium shield part right there. This kind of looks like you could uh, get rid of those and put in another medium shield part in that location. CPU block up there. Taxi tank generator. Whole bunch more small shield parts in there. Uh, fuel, CPU blocks, more fuel, location for a large generator. Yeah, two, two medium shield parts actually over there. So yeah, it's really kind of set up, but packed in a lot of stuff in this, uh, this particular room, like all your upgrades and your shields and generators and, well, maybe not all the generators, probably not, but, um, yeah, it's wild. So let's go up the elevator here. Another storage controller right there. Teleporter right on top of that. Looks like we got all our specialized medical equipment and a shower and a toilet. Like this room here. That looks pretty cool. The roundest uh, appearance there. Got a, is that a quick oh, a quick entry from the top to get right in here as well. And then uh, looks like right up into the bridge. Yeah, fridge, O2, and uh, med bay right inside of there as well. And kind of a double layered uh, section here too. So you got uh, some glass out front and then you got a secondary armored glass on the inside here. Uh, give the uh, pilot some added protection.
as well. I was uh, don't mind me. I was just looking at what's going on right at the top here. I didn't notice that. I was looking at. I was uh, looking. Oh, so that is armored glass. At first, I was like, is that a thruster that was blocked out? And I was like, no, that's a, that's armored glass right there, making a uh, kind of a a circle that kind of goes. It's kind of the the theme of the ship, kind of like a cylinder kind of thing. It, it, that's cool. It looks really really nice. And it's uh, well lit up, too, if you look at all the exterior lighting and things going on here. The interior is very uh, uh, very straightforward. Um, no, no, no getting lost in this one, even for me. Um, just a couple floors, all your stuff's right there. Yeah, very nice, very nice. And again, it looks like it's going to have quite a bit of uh, combat uh, capabilities here. And uh, decent, like a medium tier shield type of creation. Obviously, you're not putting large shield parts and fusion reactors in here. It's not not that type of creation. So anyway, let's uh, take a look at uh, the numbers here. So we're unlock level, or I'm sorry, size class uh, four, unlock level 25, 53 four, 26 strafing, 51 lift, 51 reverse, 19 down, three fuel tanks, one oxygen tank, nine hour and 51 minute build time. Going to use some estrium and zacosium again. Not breaking the bank with it or anything. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah, and it's for weaponry. Uh, oh, look at that. EMP cruise missile launchers. Sentry guns. Heavy laser turrets. More sentry guns. EMP, yeah, those. Are, yeah, long-range radar. Oh, so it does have long-range radar already. So that R on the bottom, I wouldn't think, is for long-range radar. Maybe it uh, it's, uh, means a different kind of weapon or turret or something like that. Um yeah, really wild creation here. And let's take a look at your storage. So we've got an ammo controller at uh, 300k, harvest controller at 174k, and then we got our Pentax tank and a fridge. Yeah, uh, one last thing. I just want to see if it had any harvesting equipment on its stock. Doesn't look look like it does, but it is kind of ready for it. Maybe that's what that was for. Uh, uh, maybe that was like a multi-tool or uh, uh, turret that we put down over here. I'm just kind of curious um, on that one there. I wouldn't doubt it, though. That that could be a decent location, you know, to do some salvaging or um, or some asteroid mining. It's kind of a, uh unusual location, but you could kind of, like, pull up near it. This ship could protect it, and then you uh, or shoot any drones or anything around the area and then uh, do the mining. Yeah, very, very cool. Again, this is the Temptest by Artemis Rogue. Uh, very cool ship. Combat-oriented uh, ship there. I didn't really fly through the hull in this one. Um, I should, because it is combat-oriented. just want to see if it, what it's made out of here. looks like so we're... Uh, I believe we're just steel on the hull. And carbon. It depends where you are. Probably as you get uh, closer to... Uh, oh, there was some hardened steel and some combat steel. So, yeah, we've got uh, mixed materials. I'm sure, like most of uh, the author's creations, um, they're usually mixed materials. So you gotta, you can't just build something 100% uh, of like combat steel because it won't move. So you got to figure out where you want your defense and, and whatnot, um, especially in reforged And you can get away with that. In uh, vanilla, a lot easier, but uh, Reforged Eden's kind of picky. So, yeah, trying to build a ship out of, like, the best material that's pretty good size is, is usually going to be very difficult to move around in-game or be very sluggish or require a ton of very high CPU costing thrusters uh, putting you into a, a big-time CPU range that uh, is hard to get to and expensive. Takes some uh, some gameplay there. All right, so anyway, the uh, the last creation here, let me get the lights back on. Oh, look at this, look at this bad boy here. Uh, this is the LF Retribution, Retribution by Life Force. And uh, certainly looks like another uh, Star Wars inspired creation. Um, kind of like a, a smaller uh, Star Destroyer kind of uh, set up here. I like it, I like it a lot. That's cool. Take a look at some of the block work and stuff going on here. That's neat. It's got that kind of that center area in here. Oh, look at that. We've got, looks like a lot of locations to add launchers. 
down in here. Um, I don't know if they would work with the uh, the this trim block here. Or maybe uh, there is a whole video on upgrading this ship as well, also made by uh, Life Force. So um, I believe there's a link right on the uh, the blueprint description in the Steam Workshop on that, and that would probably explain uh, some of the stuff in here. But that's that's really cool. I even I like that. It does look, it seriously look like you could put some launchers in here, but I'm just little things like this weird little this weird little block like. It's part of this block, but it just, yeah, it just gives it that technical kind of thing going on in the, uh, uh, mixing up the inner layer there, making it look like a bunch of machinery, machinery, excuse me, and things like that going on. So we have another launch bay over here. We got some, uh, some pretty trippy looking antennas in there. Kind of look like weapons themselves, but yeah, those would be, uh, legit, uh, areas to add in some, uh, some, uh, launchers as well oh look at that we've got uh oh this is a cool setup here so we got our strafing thrust kind of underneath these uh extensions over here these kind of like armored uh side pieces there that looks really nice i like that and some uh yeah look at all that going on there again I'm really trying to hit that star wars look there with the uh the texturing and everything uh multiple different grays and tones you can kind of see some of the the color changes in here too like it's uh this shade and that shade and then there's a darker tone in there probably some more and uh yeah our forward thrust look at that so we've got some uh oh these might be uh intended to be upgraded yeah yeah look at that they got slots so you can add more thrusters in these uh bays over here which would actually probably look pretty good but that looks neat how it is too because they do look like uh thrusters already uh, we've got a couple main looks like xl thrusters in the uh middle of the back a really cool looking bridge going on here too i like that oh, yeah look at that it's cool very nice i like this uh, offset here too where you got a radar on one side and some some other machine over here actually it's holding the detector on the other side there that looks cool. It's kind of, yeah, a thing. I don't know exactly what that is. Oh, look at these turrets on the top, too. Oh, I like that. That looks really neat. Man, I wish, you know how that would be amazing. Can you imagine if you could, if there was literally like a whole set of blocks and pieces used to build your own functioning turrets in game where you could actually like block them out, add in the guns, add in. I don't know, whatever firing mechanism or what kind of turret it is, and it would literally be a thing that would operate like one of these uh like turrets like this, but literally you build it yourself out of out of out of blocks or even even oh, that that'd be an amazing option. Um but that's cool. So obviously you could add in again more launchers here. Um fill in those um the uh fake looking guns with some real stuff. Um, yeah, we got some down thrusts there. Some of these do have, uh, weapons in there too. It's just, uh, yeah, it looks really good with the, uh, turrets in there. It's kind of neat too, because it, the assemblies are actually different on this one and the ones in the back too. That's a cool, very, very nice looking ship here on the outside so far. Definitely looks, uh, fits the bill for a Star Wars, uh, styled ship i won't say uh i'm behind on star wars so i don't know if this is a replica i haven't seen a lot of the newer star wars stuff i need to i need to do a big time catch up on that um i know there's some other ships introduced that i i'm unfamiliar with at this point in time but i'll just i think this is a uh, custom custom original but uh and not a replica but i i'm not 100 percent on that one yeah, very nice. Very cool looking ship. Just a quick buzz on the bottom side here to see what's going on. It's like I'm seeing some some discreet Xeno blocks in at least that area right there. I can tell by the texture on there. Yeah, nice detailed bottom too. A lot of framework and uh, stuff going on there. Different vents and mechanical stuff and whatnot. Kind of like you would expect. 
All right, well, let me adjust the lighting, and uh, let's see, we'll get a board here. Let's see what's the method. Should we get a board? So there's no coming in the back. Let me find an entry point. Now uh, we'll come in through the hangar here. Let me uh, adjust the lighting. Oh, nice. Clean, sharp. I like the uh, I like the uh, the red light accents in the uh, in the mix there, and a lot of uh, a lot of texture lights going on around both hangar doors. It looks like as soon as you come in here, you got some uh, parking spaces, and we got some uh, some production as well. So we got our uh, harvest controller and a production controller, both 320s, a large constructor. Got a central elevator going up there. On the back side, we've got some utility over here in the corner. We've got our armor repair, locker, O2, uh, med bay, and a shower. And on this side, we've got all our other specialized medical equipment. So, yeah, a nice, uh, nice setup there to get uh, healed up really quick as soon as you get in the ship from uh, outside mission or whatnot. we got main engineering behind this uh, blast door going on here. I like the block work around here. Oh, there's some elevators going up on the sides there, too. Let's go in this area. Oh, this looks, this looks nice and authentic. Oh, we got... What? We got a, we got a cantina in here over on this side. Well, we're going to have to check that out. Nice small little place over here. I like that. A uh, little place there in our uh, blue milk. Never had it. Tuscan tequila. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, very cool. Very cool. A nice little uh, thing there. I like these hallways again. Very Star Wars inspired. Um, we got a shield array house too over here. Ah, okay. It looks like a big, uh, a big large shield part location. And another one. So that's two large shields on this side. Probably it's doubled up on the other side. I'm, I would guess, but I'm not sure. Deployment room. What is a deployment room? Oh my goodness. It is. Look at that. It's got like a place to jump down in here. It's got like your uh, your armor locker, uh, some stuff, and then a uh, looks like a exit door getting out of the, uh, the bottom side of the ship. So yeah, it really is a deployment room. That's cool. Shield house. Oh, I'm looking at all these numbers here. Got shield bank four, shield house eight. Oh, man, this thing is really set up for a lot of shields. Big-time shields. You can walk right through here. This one's a 5x5, five five, isn't it? 5x5x5. Five by five by five. So I think this would be a fusion... Yeah, fusion house. Yep. Fusion reactor. you got to have that. If you're going to run all those big shield parts, uh, definitely uh, incorporate in a uh, fusion reactor as well. Shield bank 3. And Shield House 7. Oh, it's up above. I was trying to figure out where it was. Holy smokes. Yeah, another another big shield area over here. This one's smaller. This, oh, okay, that's a medium. Medium shield part. And that one. Our other deployment room. Pentaxa tank. I'm starting to get lost here. I'm not sure. I thought it was... Facing one side of the ship or not. Oh, I like all this this wall trim here, too. Whatever's going on here, with that texture lights in the background, that looks really, really neat. I like that. There's Oh, that's just a fuel tank. And then the author, like, did a uh, texture, like, red texture lights on the sides of that. An interesting way to display a fuel tank. That's cool. Looks like we've got a location to add a couple, uh, or at least one uh, one advanced generator over there. Oh, this is trippy. That's some more Xenoblock right there. Wow. Yeah, there's quite a bit of Xeno actually in here. I'm seeing uh, quite a few Xeno textures, especially in this general location. Probably around the generators. Makes a lot of sense. Wow. So obviously, whatever shield this thing has now, you could add in a lot, a lot more shield. Um, some big, large shield parts, fusion reactor, medium shield parts, etc. 
and there's uh, just a lot of these rooms here so a lot of this uh, a lot of the ship at least in the back area here is all about that and over here looks like we got some passenger seats kind of neatly displayed here V for external view yeah that's cool bunk beds over here like a, a crew area on the side right across from the uh, cantina and uh, all right so let's uh, let's check out let's check out these well let's not go up a floor yet I want to just make sure I I guess we're gonna go up the floor anyway we look at it. let's go up to this uh, uh, mezzanine over here so it looks just kind of overlaps the front part of the hangar okay and again more xenoblock that we're looking at there and what do we got going on here so we're at the top of the elevator looks like the front and we got this uh, corridor that goes across the top of the hangar Again, that looks really really cool there we try to adjust the lights a little bit more go a little bit darker yet to see what that's gonna look like that's neat like the uh, you see all the like the white texture lights here where the walls are almost like blacked out at least with the, the lighting but that, that looks that looks really cool we got a turbo lift over here okay that's uh, hydroponics oh we got we got a farming section in here too right through the door here Looks like we got nine grow plots over on that side. And uh, like another nine, so 18. Yeah, that's, that's a trip walking through the hallway there. All the uh, the texture lights are really well placed. Um, and again, cool looking hallway uh, dynamics there. I like the side piece there and the black floors and the, uh, the side texturing as well. Now it's out the back here. Looks like our main CPU core. This is actually an elevator too, going up to this area. It's interesting because a lot of things are kind of like really dark, especially obviously I'm at night right now, but you can see everything. You know what I mean? It's like you can't really see like the details and stuff on the ceiling with the current light, but I mean literally you know where everything is. Like it's it's lit, but it's uh purposely like keeping the ceiling kind of dark but a lot of texture lights and things to see in it and uh that's really cool yeah so we made ourselves right up to the uh the bridge over here then we have a, an imperial color scheme as well and a republic color scheme options that's that's really cool i've, I've seen uh, life force do that on some past creations as well very nice idea uh, you can uh, fluctuate that uh, your, your color scheme on your ship here this bridge is looking pretty insane. I love these uh, these drop-in areas here. I got our main uh, captain's uh, seat right there. Right out the front. Yeah, that's really cool. Kind of dugout positions for uh, bridge stuff. That's a neat idea. Quite a few passenger seats, and then we've got more utility function up here as well. So we have got uh, specialized medical pieces, a shower, uh, and the rest of them on the other side there in a med bay. And all kind of labeled up there with the sign work as well. Um, here, I'm dip it here. Let's get some lights back on again. I just kind of wanted to look at it like that. So in daytime, obviously, it looks uh, a lot whiter. And I think... Oh, wait, what do we got over here? What is this area? Looks like a housing for a couple more advanced generators. So, no, I didn't see this this area before. CPU blocks in here. And uh, main core. And we're back down to this uh, hallway corridor. Again, love it. Love that hallway. Our hydroponics. Oh, I probably came in. No, I, I came in the right way. It's just interesting that there's an elevator right below the uh, the staircase there. Yeah, very, very cool ship. Um, looks like it's going to be a late-game, higher-end ship, especially with the kind of parts it can uh, it can hold. And it looks like it comes stock with as much as it could, probably within a probably Core 9 CPU specification. You can also see some additional uh, places to put some turrets along the, uh, the hall in various places. I believe these... Uh, what I can tell, these round circles here would be indicate uh, where the turrets uh, would center. 
and you can see them kind of along the hulls of the ship out in various areas going around it yeah very nice very nice let's take a look at some numbers here so start with unlock level 25 size class 9 I'm doing 42 forward 23 strafing 64 lift 12 reverse 26 down got 19 fuel tanks 8 oxygen tanks uh 19 hour and 21 minute build time it is gonna use some stuff not a, again not a huge a huge amount um and yeah the, these these resources are really not that hard to obtain in game uh, you're just probably not going to do it on a starter planet got to get out there a little bit uh let's see cpu wise yeah look at that oh it's not even a core nine yeah 2.1 million would be a core nine. That's an under core nine stock. Obviously, it's really meant, you know, especially if you're going to add on all the, the big parts, the fusion reactor and the large shield parts and medium shield parts, you'll want to be putting in some auxiliary and, and and other cores in there. But yeah, the author didn't even use the full, uh, it didn't even bring it up to core nine. Um, so maybe a core eight or core seven, uh, somewhere around there, actually device menu I think would tell me that one at the uh, uh, core systems core 8 okay now, if you're ever wondering where these uh, numbers came from it's, it's basically what how reforge Eden states it so basically you could have a core 1 which is your main CPU core only core 2 would be your main CPU core plus a basic and then uh, obviously core 3 core 4 or five six seven and eight um, and you can go up to five advanced constructor or five advanced uh, CPU blocks um, in it uh, to bring it to 2.1 million CPU but this doesn't this only uses four of those and not all five so yeah, very very nice looking ship again uh, really good work here again by life force I love this Star Wars uh, inspired uh, creations they look uh, really sweet. This one, uh, you know, no doubt looks like a nice functioning ship there. Um, comes uh, stock pretty well, loaded here. Um, and then uh, late game, especially, you could uh, upgrade this and get a lot of big parts in there. Um, one thing I wanted to take a look at here was its uh, storage. So well, all the all the boxes are labeled there, so you can kind of see your numbers there. Got uh, quite a few of these 108k boxes and a 320 on the front. A couple ammo controllers, even uh, like a mid and a rear, and a, even a 320k harvest controller in there, and some miscellaneous other boxes and equipment. Yeah, very nice, very nice. So again, this is the LF Retribution by Life Force. Very cool looking uh, CV. Uh, definitely like it. Definitely like it. And that is it for uh, this uh, this week's uh, look at the workshop. Again, a lot of very cool creations. Some uh, uh, quite a few authors I'm unfamiliar with. Obviously, some of the, the last ones I know of these three authors, but the first three, I yeah, I look look forward to seeing uh, your future creations. And uh, other than that, you all have yourself a great weekend, and I will talk to you later.